Uh oh. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 17th episode of the show Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, as well as the 355th episode overall titled Olympias Ascends. We begin this episode with a giant cocoon flying through the city blowing stuff up. Just casual Power Rangers things. The Rangers are in pursuit in their Hummer, dodging explosions. They then get tossed out somehow because no one wears a damn seatbelt apparently. They see that people are being hurt and Carter sends Ryan to help them while the others morph to take care of the cocoon. They're chasing it through this same damn shipping yard and then they find Viper, Jinxer, and Lokai with Batlings. They say they can't wait, all firing on the cocoon and it causes a giant explosion, making a hole in the ground. In the flames, a figure emerges. Meet Olympias, Impus all grown up with some star power. He introduces himself telling the rangers to bow down and Carter refuses, going into the air and grabbing him. But he just disappears, landing on Carter and stomping. The others try to help, but Olympias fires at them too. Carter tries to blast at Olympias, who seals his blaster, firing on Carter with it. Savage. Carter's not giving up, going after Olympias again, and he's just getting his ass kicked. Carter is probably the realest Red Ranger we have ever had. He gets tossed away, and the other four are then absorbed into Olympias' chest somehow. Viper says, nice, and it made me lol. <laughs> Olympias then goes after Carter, but suddenly he has a brain freeze or something. Jinxer tells him he's still getting used to his new powers, but it's time to go. All the baddies teleport out. Ryan makes sure that Carter's okay and he's fine, but he realizes the others are gone. In the Skull Cavern, Olympias is recovering and Jinxer says Banshira would be proud. The Rangers are in his star power, apparently, and apparently the planets are about to be in an alignment for them to bring Banshira's body back. Lokai and Viper come in, saying that this is the opportunity to kill the Rangers, but Olympias says not yet. He's going to use them to get into the Aqua Base, which Lokai points out is hard to do since demons lose their powers underwater. Olympia says they underestimate him, showing off that he can now shapeshift into any of the four rangers. Ryan has explained to Mitchell and Carter how Banshira gave star power to Diabolico and Impus was next in line for it. So that's why Olympias has it. Then a signal goes off and they found Chad. Carter is on it, leaving. Chad is walking around with a star crystal necklace, and Carter is there in the Hummer. Fake Chad sees him rubbing dirt on him and then he falls over. Carter runs over and fake Chad says he doesn't know what happened. He pretends that the others should be with Carter and they're going back to the aqua base together. Not Carter accidentally letting a demon into the ranger base. Carter tells Chad to get cleaned up and meet in rescue ops. Chad walks away and Carter is confused as to why Chad is walking the wrong way in the aqua base. Carter points out the right direction and he seems confused. In the hallway, Chad tells Viper via Olympias' voice that he's in the aqua base and have some monsters go to the entrance. Jinxer introduces a new monster named Thunderclaw. Chad overhears Ryan and Carter talking to Mitchell about sending out search parties. He realizes he needs to keep the entry clear, so he turns himself into Kelsey. Kelsey then comes around the corner to Carter, Ryan, and Mitchell, and she claims that her, Joel, and Dana are all back. She says they can call off the search party, and Carter is sus. The others leave, and Carter asks Kelsey how she even knew about a search party, and she's like, well, I just assumed you'd send one out. Kelsey is then trying to do something on the computer, and when she can't figure it out, she screams at some random dude. He tells her she just needs to use her pass key, and she's like, oh yeah, I knew that, and then she walks away. She's going through Mitchell's desk now, ripping things apart, and she finds his pass key. She overhears him coming close, and then when he comes in, it's Dana inside his office. He says that she's probably hungry, and she says, no, she's a little tired though, so she's gonna go get some rest, leaving with the pass key. Meanwhile, Viper, Lokai, Jinxer, Thunderclaw, and the Batlings are outside the entrance. They realize it's not open yet, so Viper lets Olympias know that they're in position. Dana is by the science lab, and she sees the key is to open the gate, and also Miss Fairweather is there, so she turns into Joel. Joel walks in, going over to the system, getting ready to open the gate. Miss Fairweather walks over, asking if he needs help, and he's like, No! His voice keeps phasing in and out from Olympias's, and this actually works super well. Joel says he's just running some tests, and she walks away as he puts in the key. Elsewhere, Carter and Ryan see that the entry gate is opening for transport, and they see on camera that monsters are out there. They tell Fairweather to close the gate, and she tries to stop Joel from touching stuff, and he ends up tossing her aside, tossing the pass key away as well. Carter comes in, and Joel pretends to be Carter's buddy, and Carter is pissed. He knows that this is an imposter, and so Joel grabs Fairweather as a hostage, and then he just turns into Olympias. He demands the pass key again from Carter, who is doing a slow exchange. Ryan is sneaking around the back. Olympias gets the card, but Ryan hits him away, getting Miss Fairweather free. Then Carter takes Olympias and they both jump into the pool in the science lab and in a bunch of lightning, they're gone. On a beach somewhere, Carter wakes up next to Olympias who spits the other rangers out of his star crystal. Jinxer, Lokai, Vipra, and Thunderclaw appear and they want to take Olympias away to recover. They leave just Thunderclaw on the beach to handle the rangers. Time for Carter to lightspeed rescue! The five rangers run after Thunderclaw and they take him on, and he's actually pretty tough though. 
He fires on them, so Carter uses 478 on his battle booster to punch Thunderclaw back. They take out their V-Lancers and do their Spectre Blast, and they blow up Thunderclaw into nothingness. Of course, Changer comes out of nowhere, making Thunderclaw giant. The Rangers call out the Rail Rescues, forming the Lightspeed Megazord and their Rescue Zords. Ryan is also on his way with the Max Solozord, and they send Ryan to deal with the monster. They then form the Lightspeed Solozord, and they immediately use all their blasters, blowing up Thunderclaw. R.I.P. In the Skull Cavern, Olympias is pissed because he was so close. Viper and Loki are patronizing to him, saying that he tried his best, but he's not good enough. He needs to grow up and learn. In the Aqua Base, the four Rangers from Olympia show up, and they harass Carter for letting Olympias into the Aqua Base. They act like it was all his fault, and Kelsey gets offended that he couldn't tell the difference between her and Olympias, but they're really just joking to get him to fall into the pool, but then Carter splashes them. LOL, LOL, everyone almost died, but whatever. The end. This episode's actually really fantastic because this plan from Olympias is so well done. He really should have just been able to get away with it, but for whatever reason, he really couldn't. The solution was great too, because Carter taking him to the water was just, I don't know, great. I don't know. It was just a really solid introduction to Olympias, and I appreciate it. Next time, we learn some backstory, but until then, may the power protect you. Mm -hmm.